okay so we have discussed about metals now we'll talk about non metals okay non metals now what is non metals non metals will show property just opposite to metals so what we can write what we wrote in metal that these were lustrous so these are what non lustrous okay so they are dull okay without shine yes they are non malleable non malleable means what and they cannot be uh, converted into sheets non ductile okay they are non ductile non malleable okay that means they cannot be converted into wires and they cannot be cannot be converted rather into sheets also okay they are non sonorous uh, rather writing non sonorous means what they are not they don't have ringing capacity okay don't have or don't produce they don't produce ringing sound they don't produce ringing sound okay and when we talk about chemical properties uh, non metals are uh, reactive they react but they react in a different way they are not as reactive as the metals are but still even they show reaction with uh, uh, you know sometimes with one or the other uh, bases acids so but still they are not as reactive as the metals are now to move with the next one metalloids i forgot to write the examples over here very very important okay metalloids and the examples of non metals carbon oxygen sulfur phosphorus yes now what is metalloids first of all i'll write the example of uh, metalloids it can be no but still first of all we should write definition yes so those elements which shows the property of both metals and non metals okay those elements which shows the property of both metals and non metals now i would like to write the example of this boron silicon germanium okay boron silicon germanium arsenic antimony okay more example do you want tellurium so these can be the examples of even polonium okay enough this much <laughs> so what do you mean metalloids those substances which shows the property of metals as well as non metals so uh, what are the examples boron silicon germanium antimony then arsenic tellurium and polonium all these uh, elements are what these are metalloids these are metalloids means what these shows the property they show the property of both metals and non metals so this was about metals and non metals 
now we are going to talk about the next key word which is sonorous ok. Now I will talk about sonorous. Now what is the meaning of sonorous? Just uh, remember some olden uh, kind of school bell you know old type of school bell uh, where and many pictures I, I often very often talk about the movies you know. So you know in movies when they used to uh, ring the school bell tan 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 tan. So of what it is made up of? Obviously these bells are also made up of what? Metals. So sonorous is what? The property, the ringing property of the metals ok. The ringing property of the metals is known as what sonorous a kind of uh, typical kind of sound is produced when they are hammered or banged not hammered when they are banged ok. So again example can be anything even I can write iron I can write aluminium I can write copper I can write anything like all the metals they have a ringing capacity or produce they produce ringing sound ok. Now next one now what ok the all, all the uh, keywords are over now. Now we are now we are going to proceed to the exercises ok. Uh, now we are going to proceed towards the exercise. Now first question is first objective question I am talking about which of the following can be beaten into thin sheet ok. I will repeat the question which of the following can be beaten into thin sheets ok. The option are I will go wise this, this, way, this way ok. The options are oxygen see we have read much about the properties so now let me ask you the questions and you give the answers by yourself obviously I won't be able to hear you but then you check yourself ok. When I am talking beaten into sheets means which property obviously which property it is what malleability ok. Now I am coming to the question so oxygen uh, and malleability who shows malleability only metals ok. So uh, why I am asking the questions which are not there so that while asking you know from one question if I ask you three questions it will again check your knowledge ok. So keep on checking yourself the question is which of the following can be beaten into thin sheets but I asked you which property is this beaten into sheets means what they are malleable. Now who is malleable who can uh, be converted into sheets obviously metals. So, how to find out the answer just find out which one is the metal is oxygen metal no oxygen is non metal is sulphur metal again sulphur is a non metal phosphorus is also non metal. So, lift is only zinc so the correct answer is zinc first I will write the number first and the correct answer is what? zinc ok. Zinc can be beaten yes correct I am writing correct yes can be beaten into thin sheets ok. Now the second one Second question I am reading please pay attention which of the following statement is correct ok means they have given certain right sent like they have given wrong and right sentence we have to find out which of the following statement is correct or is right. 
all metals are ductile means all the metals can be drawn into wires just think just think can we can we uh, make wires out of mercury i don't think so now all non metals are ductile all non metals are ductile oh my god uh, not at all this is absolutely wrong no generally metals are ductile yeah this one is appropriate i think so and last is some non metals are ductile so what do you think what can be the correct answer i think generally metals are ductile okay so the second is generally metals are ductile okay now we'll move to the third one and you know this answer is given in this a uh, paragraph which is given in the ncert above only what you have learned uh, i'll just read it out generally metals are malleable and ductile generally metals are good conductors of heat and electricity means they are using this word because every metal is not having doesn't show the same kind of properties means on the level i'm talking about yes now just we'll move to the next one Uh, okay yes now this one now here we have got fill in the blanks okay we have got now fill in the blanks just me write with this fill in the blanks so the first one is a is they asking phosphorus is very dash non metal so we have discussed this that phosphorus is very very reactive non metal and it reacts with oxygen very fast you know uh, like uh, very funny two things are huh? just opposite sodium and phosphorus okay now sodium reacts with what it reacts with water like anything hai na it has great water affinity and so what has to be done it has to be kept in the kerosene yes no even with the air huh? so like moist air it reacts so sodium has to be kept in the kerosene now just it has to be kept in the water to prevent its reactivity like to prevent it from being reacted so like it's very i like this part like sodium is so reactive that immediately it will react with water and moist air also so it has to be kept in the kerosene so that acha what will happen if the like what happens when sodium is kept in kerosene what is the use of keeping the sodium in kerosene see in the kerosene the air get cuts like they uh, this can't come in contact with air so that is the reason uh, the contact is cut and so they are not able to react okay now when we talk about phosphorus it is very very reactive with the it reacts with the air so uh, you know what happens it can be in other substances also so it has to be kept in the water understood so phosphorus is very unreactive or reactive metal so phosphorus is very reactive metal so i'll just write the answer over here phosphorus is very reactive metal okay it is very sorry i'm so sorry reactive non metal i'm saying okay you keep checking now b is metals are dash conductors of heat and dash metals are bad conductors or good conductors so much a uh, big lecture we have Uh, like we have studied too much now just about the uh, conductors so i think now you all are very very clear about the conductors how the conductors are yes so how the conductors are conductors are obviously good conductors first blank is oh i'm i have written over here just wait so
in B there are two blanks ok. So, metals are dash conductors we all know metals are good conductors ok and one more blank is given over here good conductors of what heat and electricity we all know this. That was the reason why I suggest I uh, was of, of the opinion that we should go for the keywords first you know if you discuss if you deal with the keywords keywords first if you uh, have if you are thorough with the keywords first half lesson or one fourth lesson at least is done you know ok. Now next one iron iron is what metal or non metal iron is metal ok. Iron is dash reactive than copper we have done much in this yes if you remember and our reactivity series is also ready. So, they are asking iron, 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 iron where are you here it is iron and is dash reactive than copper it is here. So, who is more reactive obviously iron is more reactive than copper. So, I will write C iron is more iron is more reactive than copper. So, uh, please keep this thing point keep this point in your mind that this reactivity series is a wonderful thing you know a wonderful thing and one more thing whenever you go uh, for the next chapter in any of the uh, subject please solve the keywords first see now because we have just now we have discussed only 2 or 3 or 4 fill the blanks and some exercise and in this all, all whatever we have read in the keywords whatever concepts are required in to understand the keywords are helping us lot to solve this fill the blanks and exercise yes ok one more thing let me write over here exercise because we are solving here what exercise. ok. Now, please come to the next one D ok. Now, metal reacts with acid metals react with acids to produce see we do not want to give it like you know do not want to I just do not want to focus on rectification we will do it. So, what has to be done metals I will take an example of any metal I will take few examples of metals where to write ok I will write here only and then we will write the answer ok. So, for like what metals react with what so I will do it uh, like mg I have taken a metal magnesium and it is reacting with hydrochloric acid to HCl. So, what should it form just let me know children. So, what is going to form Mg Cl2 plus H2 I am not balancing the equation, but still Mg Mg equal Cl2 to here and H2 H2 it was it is balanced ok ok. So, what is coming out H2 is coming out ok we will go for the other reaction also we will just uh, I will take calcium and H2 SO4 let us see what happens. Uh, it is CaSO4 plus H2 array again H2 has come out that means there is no need to now uh, do the ratification just see calcium calcium plus sulfuric acid calcium plus sulfuric acid again what is coming out hydrogen is coming out I will do just one more reaction over here ok I will go with sodium sodium plus 2 what should I take hydrochloric acid or sulfuric acid I will take 2 HCl. So, it will give me NaCl uh, here also I will have to write 2 2 NaCl plus H2 just have a look 2 Na plus 2 HCl I balance afterwards. So, Na and Cl yes. So, what it is 2 NaCl and 
H2. Again H2 is coming out. See children, please do not mug up the things. Try to solve the things. Okay. So what is there? In first reaction we have seen Mg plus 2 HCl give it as to MgCl2 plus H2. H2 is liberated. Again calcium when it is reacting with sulfuric acid again what is coming out? Again here also hydrogen is liberated. Now third reaction sodium plus hydrochloric acid again what is formed? Salt is formed and along with that what is liberated? Hydrogen is liberated. So they have asked about what? They are asking about just let me rub this thing. They are asking about a gas. Okay. So now we know that when metals react with acids, what is being formed? Which what is released? D I will write H2 or hydrogen gas is released. This was the D1. Okay, just I will repeat the answers. Phosphorus is very reactive non-metal. Metals are good conductors of heat and electricity. Iron is more reactive than copper as we have done with this reactivity series. And metals react with acids to produce hydrogen as we have seen in the three reactions. Okay. Now we are going to proceed to the next one.